Okay, so for this problem, we want to look at the parabolic motion trajectory at two points along its flight. First, we have a parabola, a poorly drawn parabola, and at the top, we know that there's a velocity vector, and it has a magnitude or a speed that's some unknown value. So we know that the magnitude of the velocity vector at the top is some speed v. But at the bottom, we also know a little bit about the velocity vector. We know it's some vector going off at this direction at some angle, theta. We'll call it v naught because we always do. And we know that the speed there v naught, magnitude of v naught, is some factor. In my problem, it's 4.2 times v. Your numbers will vary. The other thing that we happen to know is that at the top, the x velocity, or the velocity vector, is entirely in the x direction. So that means that this is entirely vx. The other thing that we know is that in parabolic motion, vx is a constant. So it never changes. And that means that the x component here at the beginning is going to be equal to vx, which is the same thing. So we also know that the magnitude of v0 vector times the cosine of the angle is going to be equal to vx, and we also know that that is equal to the magnitude of v top. So that's the speed at the top. So this is all the ingredients we need to solve the problem, and I hope that'll get you started.